Hey what's up guys, it's Psychurusam here and I just gotta say like it's been a great Tuesday so far for me at least. I went out, had some fun with friends, died off of pollen. But then luckily enough I got resurrected and even had ice cream. Like is this heaven? What is going on? No but I hope you guys have been enjoying your Tuesday as well so far and besides all of the things that I just listed, Unity Tips hashtag is also running on Twitter which is obviously something positive. And therefore I just thought that it would be a great day to upload this video since it's like the official Unity's hashtag day and also because you guys seem to enjoy these videos judging by the likes and the comments on the previous two episodes. And speaking of which if you guys enjoy these videos and want to see more more tips and tricks make sure to leave a like on this video and also hit the subscribe button so you stay up to tune for new content now without further ado let's begin All right, so before we start with the initial video, I just want to have like a short talk with you. So I've been feeling as if I lost interaction with you guys in the comment section and it's mostly my fault. So I'm not trying to like blame you for that, but I haven't been able to reply to as many comments lately due to lack of energy, which mainly comes from my horrible sleep schedule. And I am changing that soon enough. So I'm super happy about that. But what I'm saying is that I will be replying to every comment from now on. So I want you to let us know your tips and your favorite tricks for Unity in the comment section and not only are you going to get a reply by me which is always important but you will also help other people which is something that we are trying to achieve with this community and with that being said i'm looking forward to hearing your tips and i'm sure the rest of the community is doing that as well but now let's begin with the video so in unity as you're most likely already aware you can create tags and layers to specify and even restrict object usage but the initial tip that i'm trying to get here is the fact that you can create custom menus in the tags and layers section which makes it a lot easier for you to organize your project and to do this you simply create a new tag or layer just as you would usually and then add a right slash as in directories and then type in what you want the child to be called this comes in very handy when you're working with many tags and layers and you don't want to scroll like an endless list of entries which is always a pain and moving on to number two in our list I want to enter the HDRP the high definition render pipeline in unity so with this new feature unity also introduces new types of lights and the light types that we have been used to so far have been point, spot, directional, and area lights. And now with the HDRP, we're also getting line and rectangle lights. And these are very useful when you want to simulate certain effects for your games. Especially the line light is what I'm really looking forward to because it's going to look sick when you combine it with like long lamp objects that are kind of like lines. But now let's move on to number three. So this will go to focusing and locking in on objects in Unity, which is like a little shortcut trick that can come in handy when you're working on your projects. So basically, if you highlight an object in your scene by using the hierarchy or the scene window, then press F, you will focus on that object. This initially just moves the scene camera to the center of that object and aims at it, which makes it super easy instead of you having to like move around the camera until you actually center it. And you can also pick to actively follow the object with the scene camera by double clicking F while having the object highlighted. And this will basically start following the object through the scene until you either just move out of it or press F once again. And at number four, I just want to touch a little bit on the level design aspect of Unity, which is like my bias. So when you're working in your scenes, you you will sometimes realize that the lighting becomes kind of kind of weird. I mean, it almost like turns a little dark for a while and it can also occur in longer durations from what I've seen. And when I work on my speed level designs, I find this annoying since it makes me feel very robust where I have to wait on it to turn normal. Then I can kind of like continue with the level designing. And luckily enough, the solution to this was very easy. So I basically turned off mixed lighting in Unity, which disables baking lighting per automatic. And to turn this feature off, you basically enter window, then lighting and turn off mixed sliding through the menu which is a little bit down below and if you wish to use this feature later on feel free to re-enable it after you're done so it doesn't really it doesn't have to be there since you start your level it's just something that you can make use of anytime you wish to and last but not least at number five we are going to talk a little bit about a new feature that was introduced with unity 2018 the decal projector component with this new feature you can easily place decals on 3d models and have them blend in with the object and even your scene settings such as lighting the 
Big Cal seem to perform really well in game as well and the system is not laggy at all so it's not going to slow down your games or anything like that. Also you need like on a quick side note you need HDSRP for this to work out since the component is only available there and I'm not sure if they're trying to like implement this into lightweight or if they're just trying to keep it on HDSRP but it would make sense for them to keep it in HDSRP since it's pretty much like the father for all of the new features anyway. And with that being said that's pretty much it for this video guys. I, it was a little short video today but I still like nonetheless I hope you enjoyed it either way and found this helpful I'm trying to keep these tips and tricks short and straightforward to ensure as many people as possible find something to use in every episode and if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more tips and tricks make sure to leave a like on this video all the thumbs ups are super appreciated and they also make it fairly clear for me to see what kind of content you guys enjoy the most and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you stay up to tune for latest videos and don't miss out on new content before before ending the video, I also want to give a huge shout out to Richard Stance, Cupola, Trump Bear MCP, Logan Barkley, and every other Patreon who is supporting the channel. You guys are amazing. You make it possible for me to produce more high quality content, and I super, super appreciate everything. And if you also want to pledge for the content and support this community and the channel, feel free to check out our Patreon link in the description. And with that being said, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoy your times in the community, and I'm looking forward to hearing your opinions in the comment section and I will be catching you in the discord anyway so uh, with that being said once again thank you have a good night peace out guys Baby.